And if a person comes in with a pretty good business plan that tells you that they do have a good market, they have done their research, and they do have a good chance of making it in this particular industry or this particular business, what does that tell you? Well, it tells me that they've done their homework. It tells me that, um, that they're, and, and I guess my old saying is you can do things right or you can do the right things. Um, a lot of people are able to do fairly well without a business plan, but a lot more people are able to do extremely well with one. It helps them to probably have a better picture of what the company's big picture is. I call it the view from 5,000 feet, but it gives you a chance to be a little bit more proactive rather than reactive. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm telling you about the importance of a business plan. That's what you do for a living. But it, As a matter of fact, 95% of people who come to me with business problems will come and I'll ask them, well, let me see your business plan, and they don't have one. Doesn't I think, surprise me. How do banks differ in deciding how much they can help small businesses in acquiring financing? A lot of banks, um, ours included, feels that the small business market is a, is a heck of a market to be in. So, A heck of a market, good or a heck, heck of, of a market? Good, and a lot of the companies are trying to gear their products to be able to take advantage of that. Um, kind of back to what I was saying earlier, there's a simplified credit process that, that's been out there or that is out there that is enabling us to, to help a lot more people. Mm -hmm. so. 